Cybersecurity risk is an important component of a public power utility's overall business risk environment. Public power utilities should consider their tolerance for cyber risks when developing risk management strategies and adopt appropriate cybersecurity programs and controls to meet their business needs. As an organizational activity, the cybersecurity risk management process requires extensive communication and coordination between different organizational tiers. These tiers include executives, managers, and system administrators who all play a vital role in creating a functional cybersecurity strategy. Each tier can use a four-step cybersecurity risk cycle to manage risk. The four steps include risk framing, assessment, response, and monitoring. Step 1. Risk framing is where you prioritize mission and business processes, determine risk tolerance, and constraints. Step 2. Risk assessment is where you identify threats and vulnerabilities and their impact and likelihood of occurrence to adversely affect your mission or business processes. Step 3. The risk response plan is when you determine whether to accept, monitor, mitigate, or transfer the risks identified during the risk assessment. And Step 4. Risk monitoring is where you evaluate how effective any implemented response measures were and consider if you need to make changes to your cybersecurity program. Cyber risk management requires annual funding, but being able to effectively manage your cyber risk is worth the cost and effort. An easy-to-follow cyber risk management plan is critical to anticipating, planning, and executing response measures rapidly during a cyber event. Having a risk management plan means public power utilities are cyber ready. To learn more, visit publicpower.org slash grid security. American Public Power Association, powering strong communities.